D23, man, oh man, where does the time go? And what we'll be talking about is my little hopes and wishes that I have to come out of this event right here, right now. So let's get right to it. Okay, so I got my handy dandy little list right over here of the things that I want to see come out of this event. You know, if we actually see it or not, who really knows? But, but whatever, whatever. Aside from that, okay, up first on the list right over here, I think it is finally about darn time that we go ahead and see Mickey and Riku's brand new outfit. As we all know, at the end of Kingdom Hearts 0.2, Master Yen said went ahead and gave him this briefcase, and this briefcase does contain a new outfit for Riku and Mickey to protect themselves against the darkness. Now, we had a little bit of a sample of what Riku's new outfit might look like, thanks to that artwork by Tetsuya Nomura, and a lot of people were kind of like iffy about the outfit. Me, I think it looks perfectly fine. I mean, you know, it's plain. It gets the point across. It's basically Riku's character. It's got the black. It's got the white. Who knows if it's actually going to look like that, but I feel as though it's going to be very similar to that. Now, as far as Mickey Mouse goes, <gasps> Boy, I really, really want to see Mickey Mouse's outfit. First off, how do you even top his outfit? I absolutely love his king outfit that he has, the red, the white, the yellow. It looks so cool, and I find it funny how people are like, oh, how come Goofy and Donald don't get a brand new outfit? Well, how do you top that outfit? I absolutely love their outfits. I feel as though there's no reason to change it, but if Mickey Mouse is going to get a new outfit, eh, maybe you should give Goofy and Donald a brand new outfit. Hey, I was kind of skeptical about Sora's new outfit, but after a while, I really grew into it. You know, the red and the black. Red is my favorite color, so I think Sora is definitely rocking that Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit, and if Mickey Mouse, oh man, I don't know how they're going to top it off, but I think it's finally time that we got to look at their brand new outfits. And speaking of, like, you know, Kingdom Hearts characters, what I want to see more of is the characters themselves. Like, we still have yet to see Lee in the Kingdom Hearts shader. I want to see Merlin. Yo, is it funny that I really want to see Merlin above all people? Because, yo, Master Yen said looks great. I can only imagine how good Merlin is going to look, because as we all know, Merlin is training Kyrie and Lee in this, like, hyperbolic time chamber type of thing. So I definitely want to go ahead and see more of the characters in the Kingdom Hearts shader. You know who we haven't seen yet? We haven't even seen old Master Zane, or oh my god, we need to see. He's going to look so creepy. But that is something that I definitely want to go ahead and see more of and aside from like you know the Kingdom Hearts characters themselves like you know the Disney ones my number one character that I want to see in this trailer you know regardless of Big Hero 6 no 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 Tangle, Rapunzel, she is the number one thing that I want to see from this trailer, screenshot, whatever. Rapunzel's number one, man. We've all we've seen so far is outside her tower. Rapunzel, like, you know, how are they going to work with the hair, Flynn Rider, the frying pan, the story? I Rapunzel's number one. She is number one character that I want to see in the Kingdom Hearts shade. I mean, Hercules is looking good. Hades is looking good. Maleficent Pete's looking good. I can only imagine how great Rapunzel is going to look. And plus, again, I really want to know how they're going to handle the long hair thing. Maybe they're going to have it to a certain amount of length. We're just going to have to go ahead and wait and find out. But Rapunzel, she's number one. And speaking of, you know, Disney characters again, uh, one thing that I definitely want to go ahead and see that we have not seen yet is Summons. To see the more I mentioned that Summons were going to be returning. And he said that he wanted to kind of make him a little bit more flashy. Usually when you summon a character, there's a little bit of scene, like whether it be Mushu or Tinkerbell or something like that. Tinkerbell, you know, pecking Sora on the nose. Mushu, I am Mushu on top of Sora's head. There's always a little bit of something, but I feel as though the more wants to make it a little bit more extravagant that's really cool so like you know when it comes to attraction flows or summons personally I rather have more summons than attraction flows don't get me wrong the attraction flows they look pretty darn cool but no 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 it's all about those summons so that way we can get like you know characters if they're not going to return like if Jack's skeleton isn't going to be in there maybe we could have him at least as a summon if Wreck-It Ralph is not going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3 at least we could have him in a summon just give me one summon and I will be a-okay summons were definitely one of my favorite parts within the Kingdom Hearts series overall so seeing a summon or two would be pretty darn awesome. So next up on the list right over here is like, you know, the trailer itself. So far the trailers have been focused heavily, and I mean heavily, a lot on the gameplay. I'm done with the gameplay. Get that gameplay out of my face. What I want to see is more 
cutscenes and story elements because when it comes to the actual story of Kingdom Hearts 3 within these trailers they've just been small nitbits here and there which is really funny because if you only know the story of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 you must be completely lost on what's going on but I definitely want to see more story elements of like you know we got to gather the seven guardians of light the 13 secrets of darkness traveling the world and all this stuff I want to see more of that especially the cutscenes cutscenes give me that give me that cutscene of Rapunzel tying up Sora Goofy Donald and Flynn Rider in the chair oh god I really you don't understand how badly I want to see this tangled world stuff so next up on the list right over here is of course like you know a release date release month something I just want a proper time frame on when this game is gonna come out don't you dare give me 2018 again no, no, no. You, you gotta give me fall winter a month a date something you gotta give me something d23 Japan biggest event you gotta show me something. That's one thing that I'm definitely, I think that's what we're all expecting out of this thing. It's probably our number one thing that we're really looking forward to on this event. And next thing that I have on the list right over here is Second Form Sora. As we all know, Second Form is just like, you know, the temporary name. We don't have the official name for it. But they are giving away the Bring Art Second Form Sora signed by Tetsuya Nomura through like a little raffle ticket or something like that. So I think it's about darn time that we finally got the official name for Second Form. Oh, hey, even give me a new form. That would also be really really cool like you know we got guard form we got second form we got we, you know we had that blue form not really sure if it's wisdom I don't think we ever got the proper name for that but hey some new keyblades that would be really awesome too and you know like the event is gonna be 80 minutes long so there's plenty of things they can show they can show some concept art the progression of the game maybe even talk about like you know a possibility of bringing in the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.8 on the Nintendo switch yes it's called the Kingdom Hearts fan event but everyone is so heavily focused on Kingdom Hearts 3 that it is quite possible that you know they could go ahead and talk about some of their previous games and maybe bring in to the switch that would be absolutely spectacular so guys that is basically it for this video these are kind of the hopes and wishes that i really want to see come out of this event if you know if we get it or not so guys what i want to know in the comment section below is you know what are you most excited for in this event what do you want to see come out of this kingdom hearts fan event so guys leave all your comments in the comment section below and if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out we are almost at 6k subscribers oh if we can get it before d23 japan i I will be one happy duck right over here. So until next time, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say bye, pal. We'll see y'all real soon. <laughs>